Were you a part of the group as a child? When you met up with all your buddies again after Christmas and you said, what you get, what you get, what you get? Well, <laughs> I didn't have that opportunity a lot, but when it happened, those were the questions from all of my friends. And today I just want to show you what I got. And this is a new Phalaenopsis, clearly. And she's beautiful, clearly. We'll go in a little bit closer just now. I want to introduce you to my new Phalaenopsis, Insolent. Thank you to my wonderful sweet daughter that had it all figured out and planned out for me. And I ruined it. <laughs> I will do a live bites and you can hear the whole history as to how I came about this orchid and how I ruined it. But anyway, Insolence is her name. The reason being most of my Phalaenopsis that I have are named after family members, good friends, and the people that have gifted them to me. Now, I was thinking of a name for her. My daughter came up with another name. Ah, it didn't quite resonate with me. And then she said, Insolence. And I was like, perfect. Her favorite perfume is Insolence from Guerlain. Now, Insolence, however, we know has a... <laughs> double entendre, <laughs> and insolence is also somebody that can be stubborn, a little bit contradictory, a little bit confrontational, sometimes a bit grumpy, you know, insolent behavior. And my daughter happens to have those quality traits as well. They have been part of her beautiful character since she was placed into my arms as a baby. So, insolence is her name, and insolence is hopefully here to stay. Now, I say it lovingly. Now that we're all grown up, Insolence is a beautiful name and it's meant in all the positive ways that I can imagine. <laughs> no shade at my daughter being thrown here. All right, let's go and have a little closer of a look-see. Isn't this something else? Now you can see that she is very bright pink in the viewfinder, but she's a little bit more subdued in real life. She has a much deeper, darker, richer pink. It's almost like a fuchsia kind of thing. But what I like about the viewfinder is it enhances certain details that I find super charming about this orchid and how the spotting radiates out, creating a halo and framing the lip so beautifully. The lip also has stripes inside and then is extremely detailed on the yellow at the base there. I love that. And if you look at the bloom up here, same thing, that halo around the lip. I think this orchid is gorgeous and I would like to keep her indefinitely. So I need you to keep your fingers crossed for insolence under my care because she comes with five spikes but one of them is a terminal spike. <laughs> oh. I need this orchid to survive. She's a Christmas gift from my daughter that immediately ranks her up into something super, super precious. So this is something I have never managed to pull through to have a Phalaenopsis survive under my care when it comes with a terminal spike. I avoided them like the pest. I had Baba twice with a terminal spike and I tried to save her, except that the shop was very naughty because they had cut the terminal spike off so you couldn't tell if it was actually rot in the crown or was it a terminal spike. We took the risk, we failed twice. The third Baba I have now in my collection is still alive doing well, but she didn't have a terminal spike and she has her own little characteristical perks, like she doesn't like to grow roots. Takes a little while. However, my two attempts to get an orchid with a terminal spike through to survive, continue to grow, give me a cakey and such, they have been failures. So this would now be attempt number three. Did they say third time's a charm? Huh. So the roots are looking okay-ish. There's not really much to work with in here. She hasn't even had CalMag in my care just yet because I want this pot to dry out. But you can see the roots are nothing to write home about. And there is no way I'm disturbing this orchid at this point in time to get anything repotted, cleaned up, put into my setup because the climate isn't exactly conducive to Phalaenopsis as such. So she is going to be babied and it is possible that the blooms are gonna come off prematurely because this is taking up a lot, a lot of energy. Now, she can handle it because she still has beautiful, beautiful leaves. 
I would like her to keep those leaves. She's going to need those if she's going to bring forth a cakey or let's just hope maybe a basil plant. For the time being, I am loath to cut the spikes off, but I know that that is what I'm going to have to do moving forward, especially with such a pathetic looking root system that we just saw. There's maybe two slivers or three slivers of green that we can see. The chances of the center of the pot being even worse, yeah. Those are very, very high. So moving forward, we're gonna enjoy insolence for the time being probably another week and then i'll put them in a vase and then keep your fingers crossed that i get it right so that insolence is here to stay and she actually gets the chance to grow some roots for us huh hopefully around july that is how long we're going to have to wait seven months game on baby game on i hope you enjoyed this quick video just introducing my christmas prezi <laughs> Welcoming insolence to Ninja Orchids. I hope there won't be any tears moving forward. Really appreciate your time. Let me know if you got any orchids for Christmas, if you got any vouchers, what you get, what you get, what you get. Let me know in the comments. Have yourself a beautiful day. One condition though, please that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.